Hello, this is Stephen Thomas. Welcome to my weekly Catholic hymn podcast. I'll sing each of the hymns I have selected for this weekend's upcoming Mass. This is my rehearsal, so I'm going to keep it simple. You can sing along. Let's get comfortable with the words and the melody. I'm using the Oregon Catholic Press hymnal, Breaking Bread. My opening hymn, my processional, is Abide With Me, written by a Scottish minister and priest, Henry Francis Light, in 1847. It is a deep reflection upon our need for companionship, particularly in the face of death. When the disciples met the resurrected Jesus on the road, they pleaded with him to stay with them, to abide with them. For it is nearly evening and the day is almost over. Christ broke bed with them and then disappeared. Abide with me appears in the hymnal of virtually every denomination. And now this week's processional hymn, Abide With Me. St. Francis was the favorite hymn of the great holy man, Father George, who I was privileged to serve for many years. Father George was a very happy, genial priest who loved to sing. He often asked me to play the chorus to All You Need Is Love for service. His favorite popular song, delivered a cappella, was I Did It His Way as he pointed to heaven. Father George passed away several years ago, and I sure do miss him. And so in honor of Father George, this week's offertory hymn, Prayer of St. Francis. Make me a channel of your peace, where there is hatred, let me bring you love, where there is Where there is darkness 
Master Grant that I may never see. So much to be consoled as to My communion hymn this week is Transfigure Us, O Lord. This is a wonderful hymn to accompany communion. It is very solemn and reflective. We Christians hope to be transfigured in the likeness of Christ, and communion is part of that process. We are taking the same journey in this life as Christ, the great everyman. As the last line of the hymn says, Shall we journey with you and share your paschal road? And now this week's communion hymn, Transfigure Us, O Lord. Transfigure us, O Lord, transfigure us, O Lord. Break the chains that bind us, speak your healing word, and where you lead we'll follow. Transfigure us, O Lord. Down from heights of glory into the depths below, the love of God self empty, the love of God to show. You light the path before us. The way that we must go. Transfigure us, O oh Lord. Transfigure us, O oh Lord. Break the chains that bind us. Speak your healing word. And where you lead, we'll follow. Transfigure us, O oh Lord. Light for those in darkness. The hungry have their fill. Light tidings for the humble. The healing of all ill. God's promises fulfill. Transfigure us, O oh Lord. Transfigure us, O oh Lord. Break the chains that bind us. Speak your healing word. And when you lead, we'll follow. Transfigure us, O oh Lord. Pardon for the sinners. A shepherd for the sheep. A drink of knowing water. For all who thirst and see. I try to end Mass on an upbeat note to send the congregation off into their lives with a message of hope. Christ be our light's verses remind us of our responsibility to care for the poor and needy, and its chorus is a cheerful plea to Christ to lead us to this goal, light our way. And so, my recessional hymn for this week, Christ be our light. Longing for light, we wait in darkness. Longing for truth, we turn to you. Make us your home, your holy people. Light for the world to see. Christ be our light, shine in our hearts, shine in the dark. 
session with my new original hymn, Show Me the Way. The Methodist congregation that I serve loves this hymn. We sing it during or after virtually every service. I used to write songs to try to instruct other people. I seem to do a lot better when I write hymns to instruct myself. This hymn is a message to myself. I sing it every day. And so, show me the way. Show me your 
That's it for my weekly Catholic hymn podcast. I'll be back next week with a new set of hymns. Until then, so long.